preaching this evening. I listened to a preacher one time and I, he got called into a, a, a revival in a certain town today, friend. And, I, and how today, friend, that he went through the town and he went and, and stopped down at the store today, friend. And he asked uh, uh, the, sto uh, the storekeeper there, he said, is there anybody in this town uh, uh, that knows how to pray uh, and wants to see souls saved uh, and wants to see a revival today, friend? Uh, and the storekeeper said, hey, Amen. Uh, 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 there's one. Uh, uh, there's a little old lady that lives up the road. Uh, uh, she knows how to pray. Uh, uh, she wants to see souls saved. Uh, and she wants a revival in the land. Uh, and so he went on down the road and he stopped at a blacksmith uh, and he said do you know anybody uh, uh, that wants uh, uh, that knows how to pray that uh, uh, wants to see souls saved uh, amen to God and wants to see a revival uh, in the land and he said yep uh, uh, there's one little lady that lives right up the road today she just uh, lives right up yonder uh, uh, she wants to see souls saved uh, and all like that and so he walked into the lady's house. Amen to God. And she said, he said to her, do you know how to pray? Do you want to see souls saved? Do you want to see a revival? And she looked at him and she said, preacher, I've been praying for 40 years that the Lord I would send a revival. I've been praying for years for souls to be saved. And so they both began to pray. And they both begin to call out to God today friend and pretty soon God sent a revival into that land and country today friend I'm telling you today friend listen Joseph amen he made the people give their money give their cattle and give their flocks today friend I'm telling you today friend listen I'll tell you today I was thinking about this yesterday I'll tell you what I got to aim. It man, and I remember I, I used to go over to her house and I, and all like that. And I'll tell you what, I, every morning at about five o'clock in the morning, she'd wake up and she'd go to her little room and she'd turn on the radio. It man to God. And she'd just sit there and meditate upon the Lord. She'd just sit there and begin to pray and call out to God today, friend. Amen to God because she wanted the power of God in her life today, friend. I'm telling you today, are we willing to do a listen, get creative? Amen to God. Are we willing to get creative? I'll tell you what, there's one time I was in a revival meeting. Amen to God. And it just seemed like it was dry. It seemed like it was dead. Amen the Lord. I listen. He got me up from my seat. Amen to God. And he began to direct me just to do this. Amen to God. And just walk across the church like that. Amen to God. And I thought, man, I look foolish. I thought, man, amen, I look bad. And they're thinking how crazy I am. And then the next thing I know. I opened my eyes and a little a lady was on the altar today, friend. I'm telling you today, friend, I'm thankful for the goodness of God. Amen to God. Sometimes it takes just raising your hands and saying thank you, Lord. Sometimes it takes amen. Listen, some creative way uh, to get out of the famine today, friend. Uh, and to survive the famine today, friend. Uh, I'm telling you today, friend. Those folks, they was hungry. They gave of all their money. Then Joseph took their cattle. Listen today, friend. That was never in the deal today, friend. For Joseph to take their cattle and their flocks and all like that today, friend. Amen to God. But listen, their money ran out. What do you do when you ain't got no money? You begin to barter and you begin to trade. And all like that, 
uh, just so you can get ahead today, friend. I, I'm telling you today, friend, listen. Uh, uh, listen. Uh, are we surviving the famine today, friend? Preacher, I feel pretty close to the Lord right now, and I, I'm proud you do. Uh, uh, but listen, when you get in the famine, uh, uh, listen, how willing are you, uh, amen, to get creative, to get out of it today, friend? Uh, I'm telling you today, friend, you know what, amen, uh, and I haven't thought about this, uh, but you know what? Uh, uh, when you get broke today, friend, uh, you know what? You'll do whatever it takes uh, uh, to pay them bills today, friend. Uh, I'm telling you today, I remember growing up, uh, amen, uh, we drank canned drinks all through the year today, friend. Uh, amen to God, and I remember uh, we'd save them, and I was just po a poor kid and all like that, uh, but I remember August would come around, uh, and Adam didn't have no money today, friend, uh, and Mama didn't have no money to spare and all like that, uh, amen to God, but listen, about the time the fire come around today, friend, uh, I'd take those cans, uh, amen, and I'd begin to step on them things, and I'd begin to crush them things, uh, and I'd begin Begin to pack them things up today, friend. Hey, Amen. So I go to the fire today. And then there's been times, hey, man, that I've needed to pay stuff. And you know what I did today, friend? I looked around for some junk metal today, friend. And I put it in the back of a wagon. And I hauled it off today, friend. Hey, man, I needed extra. I needed help today. And I got creative. I'll tell you what I I remember the worst thing I guess we ever did to make money coming up. Hey Amen. Listen, I remember my stepdad, he had a, a, a Ain and she lived down in Carson Springs and I bet they had. Hey Amen. It seemed like they had the Ponderosa out there. It seemed like they owned half of Texas and all of America today, friend. Hey Amen. But I remember, hey Amen, we was broke one time and we drove back in the back of their, uh, uh, man, their land, uh, and we, uh, uh, listen, we picked moss today, friend, uh, and you talk about a job, uh, I'll tell you today, friend, uh, we drove as far as we could go, go uh, and we didn't have no four-wheeler or anything like that, uh, and so we bagged that moss up, uh, amen, uh, and we got a big long uh, a pole, uh, we tied them bags of moss together, uh, and my stepdad was up front and I was in the back. Amen to God. And we uh, carried those, at least it was probably uh, four or five hundred pounds of uh, or it seemed that way of moss that we carried out of there. And we didn't have no truck or anything like that. And so there we was. We had it was a 70 something uh, uh, like a, a Grand Torino or something other like that today. And we put that moss on top of that car and we come out of there today, friend. I'm telling you today, when you're hungry, you'll get creative today, friend. Hey, man, I was watching a documentary on something today, friend. And back, hey, man, in the uh, Civil War days, I uh, listen, the North, uh, they had all the coffee, and you know, or maybe the South had all the coffee, uh, but the, uh, the Yankees today, friend, uh, uh, they'd do anything uh, to make coffee today, friend, and all like that today, friend. Hey, man, to God, uh, but listen, uh, when you're in a famine today, how to survive the famine, I get creative with it today, friend. I, I'll tell you what, I, I, I don't know about you, but I, I, I like sometimes watching that uh, uh, Bear Grylls today, friend, how he goes out in the wild today and he don't take any food with him or anything. Hey, man, and sometimes he rolls over stumps and he gets some big grub worms today, friend, and he eats them. Th I'm telling you today, listen, when you're hungry, hey, man, you'll do anything. Amen.
Thank to God I'm telling you today, friend, listen. And I've seen him. Listen, he'll get like old skins off dead carcasses of animals. And he'll cover up with that and all like that today, friend. Amen to God. But you know what? Listen, they ain't come across the news and said that guy's dead because he said something he did out there. But I'm telling you today, he survived. Amen. We have food. I was scarce today, friend. So listen, they did any means necessary today, friend, to get out of famine, to be fed today, friend. And I tell you, you know what, this morning, I normally, I, I got an alarm on my phone, and I got it set at 610 of the morning. But I tell you, this morning, about 520, I rolled over, and I woke up. Uh, and, and, and I tell you, I opened my eyes for just a minute, and then it's on my heart to pray. And I said, Lord, just give me a few more minutes. Because I know if I go in there and I lay down on the floor, I'll fall asleep. And I tell you, I laid down in the bed for just a few more minutes today, Fred. And then I went in there on that floor. I tell you what, sometimes you got to get up at 530 in the morning to pray today, friend. Amen. They get the power of God today, friend. Uh, amen. Listen, uh, sometimes uh, you got to get uh, well, I, I tell you, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, I worked all week last week. Uh, I get up at 540 every morning today, friend. Uh, amen to God. And here I was this morning. Uh, I get up 20 minutes before I normally do uh, on my day off today. But I'm telling you today, uh, I need to the power of God. I want the power of God. And I'll tell you today, friend, you know what I was telling Tiffany today coming down the road? i tell you what, I believe Laz wants something. I, did, I tell you, he's come on this altar I don't know how many times uh, over the past couple little bit today, friend. I believe he wants something from the Lord. I tell you, I believe he's going to get it today, friend. If he keeps coming to the Lord, keeps coming to him, uh, and all like that today, friend. I'm, I'm not, uh, listen, I believe the boy's saved, but I tell you what, uh, amen, listen. Uh, he keeps walking that aisle uh, and drawing nigh to the Lord and getting close to the Lord. You mark my words today, friend. The Lord's going to do something with that boy today, friend. Mark it. Mark your down. Adam Wilson said that on 6621 today, friend. I'm telling you what, you watch him. God's going to do something in his life today, friend. But I'm telling you, any means necessary, get creative with it today, friend. I listen, look there at the verse 18 today, friend. And how that the Bible says, when that year was ending, they came unto him the second year and said unto him, We will not hide it from my Lord, how that our money is spent. My Lord also hath our herds of cattle. Uh, there, is all not, uh, there is not all left in the sight of my Lord, but our bodies uh, and our lands. <laughs> Wherefore shall we die before thine eyes, both we and our land? <laughs> uh, buy us and our land for bread, <laughs> and we and our land will be servants unto Pharaoh, <laughs> and give us seed that we may live <laughs> and not die, that the land be not desolate. <laughs> And Joseph bought all the land of Egypt for Pharaoh, for the Egyptians sold every man his field because the famine prevailed over them. So the land became Pharaoh's. And as for the people, he removed them to cities from one end of the borders of Egypt even to the other end thereof today. You know what they did? They came to get out of the because they was hungry. Listen, they said, we ain't got no more money. We ain't got no more cattle. We ain't got no more horses. We ain't got anything else left. Mm. Buy me. Buy my land. You know what they did? They gave of themselves to get bread today, friend. 
They gave of them set, listen, uh, listen, uh, listen, no doubt they probably had land that was theirs. Uh, amen. For, uh, listen, we're in Genesis. They might have had land that was theirs. Uh, amen. From the time the earth got populated, uh, uh, right in there today, friend, it might have been theirs. Uh, amen. It might have been their daddies. Uh, it might have been his daddies. Uh, and all like that today, friend, but they was hungry today, friend. Uh, I'm telling you today, uh, Sometimes in order to get out of famine, uh, you got to give of yourself today, friend. Let me read you something uh, over there in the scripture today, friend. Uh, and how that Isaiah talks about fasting uh, over there in Isaiah chapter 58. Uh, listen, it says this, uh, amen to God. Uh, uh, Isaiah 58 and verse number 5 it says is it such a fast that I have chosen a day for a man to afflict his soul is it to bow down his head as a bulrush to spread sackcloth and ashes under him wilt thou call this a fast an acceptable day to the Lord I'm telling you today friend give of yourself today friend amen to God listen look what happens after they give their uh, uh, verse number 8 of Isaiah 58. Uh, after they give of their self, after they undo uh, uh, the bands of the wicked and the heavy burdens and let the oppressed go free uh, and all like that today, friend. Uh, and then they give to the poor and they feed the hungry uh, and all like that. It says this, uh, uh, Then shall thy light break forth as the morning uh, and thine health shall spring forth speedily uh, and thy righteousness shall go uh, above for thee, the glory of the Lord shall be thy re reward, and thou shalt call upon the Lord, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou take away from the midst of the yoke the putting forth of the finger and the speaking of vanity today, I'm telling you today, bless his name. Give of yourself if you want to get out of the famine. If you want to get close to God. I'm telling you what, put others first today, friend. I'm telling you today, friend, if you want to get close to God, I'm telling you what, enter into the prayer closet today, friend. And God that seeth thee secretly, he'll reward thee openly. Listen, they wanted to get out of the famine, and so they gave their sales. They gave their land. You know what I was thinking as they sit down? I'm telling you what, our mortgage, it's the most expensive thing we've got today, friend. Amen to God. Listen, if we work for anything, it's for our home today. But listen, in order to eat, in order to get some bread today, friend, that's willing to give all of that up today, friend. Amen. So that they could eat today, friend. Listen, amen. What are you willing to give up today, friend? Listen, give of your yourself. Amen. Give of yourself. Spend some time in prayer. Spend some time in the Word of God today, friend. Spend some time uh, talking to your people today, friend. Spend some time, uh, I'm telling you what, doing something for the church today. Now spend some time uh, going down to the homeless shelter today, friend. Spend some time uh, going through your closet uh, and getting things that you can't wear uh, anymore and giving it to uh, poor folk and all like that today, friend. I'm telling you today, friend. Uh, listen, you want to get out of the famine? Uh, amen. Be creative. Uh, you want to be out of the famine? Uh, uh, give of yourself today, friend, uh, and let God have every bit of everything in your life today, friend. And I'll tell you today, friend, it's a good surefire way to get out of the famine today, friend. Giving of yourself. I'm telling you, listen, Just, I, I tell you, I, there's some folks around here, listen, they slip money in my hand today, friend. I tell you today, friend, I'm like, I don't want that. I don't want that. But I tell you today, friend, listen, if that's what the Lord lays on their heart today, friend, that's fine. But I'm telling you today, friend, listen, I, I don't need that. But I tell you what, I need God's favor. 
I need God's spirit. I need God's power today, friend. Amen to God. And sometimes you got to pray past bedtime to get there. Sometimes today, friend, listen, you know what? It's no secret. I hate going to a funeral home. I'm, I'm telling you today, but I'll tell you today, friend, listen, sometimes... In order to get the power of God, you got to get there today, friend. I'm telling you today, friend, listen. I, I hate, amen, having to, uh, amen, correct problems around the church and all like that today, friend. But I'm telling you what, sometimes... Amen. You got to be willing to do that today, friend. I, I, I'm telling you today, friend. You know, and 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 and, and uh, I don't know if everybody, but I'm telling you today, friend. Listen, I, I, I ain't out to hurt nobody, and I ain't out to look like I'm a big shot and I'm the boss and all like that today, friend. Amen to God. But sometimes you got to give up yourself today, friend. I'm telling you today, listen. You know what? Listen, I, I know. Nobody wants to correct their kids. Nobody wants to be mean to their kids. But I'm telling you today that sometimes, amen to God, you got to take that right there. Or you got to take that old belt and you got to wire them out today, friend. Listen, no doubt it hurts you today, friend. And no doubt today, friend, you probably think, amen, I shouldn't have done that after you did it today, friend. Amen to God. But listen, uh, listen, sometimes, listen, uh, uh, you got to stand your ground. You got to do what you uh, have to do today, friend. And these folks, they had to give of their selves in order to get bread today, friend. I'm telling you today, friend, you know what? Let me say it again. In this day and time, you turn on your TVs and uh, and your big radio stations and all like that, and, and the the, uh, the preachers will come on, and it's all positive, and it's all uh, blessings and all like that today, friend. But I'm telling you today, friend, listen. You come down to your local church, and you come down to a local radio station and all like that today, friend. They sometimes, the preacher man's got to say some things that hurt. Amen. I, I'll tell you today, Fred, sometimes. Uh, listen, this 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 book right here, it, it, it ain't all about just building you up today, Fred. But I'll tell you today, Fred. You read over there in Jeremiah chapter number one today, friend. Jer God told Jeremiah, he said, I, I, I called you to tear down, to, uh, to pull down, and to pluck up today, friend, to root up today, friend. I'm telling you today, friend, listen, uh, I, I'll tell you today, I find no pleasure today, friend, uh, in rebuking. I, I find no pleasure today, friend, in reproving today, friend. If they could all be happy, sign me up today, friend, but I'm telling you today, friend, in order to have the power of God today, friend, sometimes, amen, you got to preach something hard. Sometimes you got, uh, listen, there's one time I've, I've, I, I had been pastoring at my first church. I'd probably been there, a, I've been there a week. I bet I, it was a week. The Lord laid something hard on my mind and on my heart. And, and I got up and preached it. And I tell you what, I, I could feel the tension. I could, I could feel it. And I tell you today, and, and I knew they was mad at me and all like that today, Fred. And, and, and there's been many times like that. But then some little old sweet granny lady walked by and said, need today. Listen, we've been studying there in Ephesians when Charlie teaches Sunday school. Amen. It says that he gave some apostles, some prophets, some uh, 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 teachers, and some pa some pastors, some teachers, and some evangelists today. Then it said for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry today, friend, till we all come together and all like that today, friend. Listen, this, this book right here, it ain't meant to hurt us today, friend, but it's meant to help us, to mature us, to grow us today, friend. 
Amen to God. But you know what? Sometimes them old apple trees that you've got, they've got to be pruned back in order to grow. But listen, they got to give of their self. Listen, the Bible talks about trees talking to themselves today, friend. So no doubt that tree's standing there and he's saying, no, I don't want to be cut. I don't want to be cut. Don't you cut on me. Amen to God. And then you cut it. And I tell you what, before too long, that old, that old limb starts growing out the way it needs to be. And, and, and I watched a video and, and, and how the, 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 they'd take, uh, after they'd pruned them trees and stuff, listen, they'd take some, uh, some wire and, uh, and, and they would kind of form it uh, into uh, the, the, the path that they wanted them limbs to grow up and all like that today, friend. It had to give of itself uh, in order to grow today, friend, in order to bring, uh, uh, to be able to hold itself up and all like that today, friend. I'm telling you today, listen, that's called giving of yourself. Amen. Letting the Lord mold you and make you into what uh, uh, he'd have you to be today, friend. I'm telling you today, friend, uh, how the, uh, the Bible says that, uh, and, and, and I'll be done in just a few minutes, I promise. I know you're all tired and all like that. But I'll tell you today, listen, uh, Jeremiah said that he, uh, he 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 went down to the potter's house and he saw a, a potter and he he wrought a work on wheels today, friend. And, and how that there was a mar in that piece of clay today, friend. And uh, and how today, friend, that I, I amen, how, how that that, uh, that potter, uh, amen, he squished that thing back down and he began to work with it again. Uh, listen, because that, uh, uh, that, 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 that clay clay was uh, bendable, that clay, uh, amen, uh, uh, it was able to be molded and all like that today, friend, listen, uh, it didn't get uh, stiff and it didn't get hard while the potter uh, had his hands on him today, friend, but it gave of itself saying, Mr. Potter, take me this way, <laughs> take me this way, take me that way, I yield myself to you. I tell you today, Fred, in my mind, I always think that pottery was made to hold beautiful flowers in today, Fred. I'm telling you what our life, it can be something beautiful. Amen. Think about Mike a lot and how the, uh, what a testimony he's got today, Fred. But I'll tell you what, listen. It took him a long way to get there. Amen. He had to fight. He fought with God a long time today, friend, to get where he's at today. He fought with himself a long time to get where he's at today, friend. But I'm telling you what, now look at his testimony. I look at who looks at him. And all like that today, friend, listen. Amen to God. He had to be willing to yield himself over to the Lord today, friend. I got it. Uh, three more verses I want to look at today, friend. So listen, by any means necessary, give of yourselves. Verse 25, it says this. It says, And they said, Thou hast saved our lives. Let us find grace in thy sight of my Lord, and we will be Pharaoh's servants today, friend. And so Joseph bought all the land uh, and, and, and all like that today, friend. And they had food still yet. Uh, and I'll tell you what, you know what? I kind of look at this as praise. That has saved our life. Joseph, you really did. Joseph, you got us out of trouble. Joseph, you listen to the Lord and all like that, and, and we're fed, we're happy, and all like that today, friend. Listen, they praised uh, uh, Joseph today, but I'll tell you what, you and I, amen, listen, they're right here uh, down close to the end of the famine today, friend, and they look back at all that Joseph had done today, friend, they look back at uh, uh, what Joseph had told Pharaoh to do, and uh, and then they looked at, at, at how that Joseph bought their cattle, and then their land, and all like that today, do you know what, uh, when Joseph bought their land today, friend, you know where they stay, listen, uh, uh, look right there, and I remember this morning, I said 
said that they brought the, uh, the food to the city today, friend. Uh, amen. And it says, as for the people, uh, he removed them to the cities. Uh, amen. From one end of the borders of Egypt, even to the other end there. Uh, listen. Uh, amen. That God, he brought them to the city today, friend. Uh, he brought them to where the land uh, of the corn was today, friend. Uh, because they yielded themselves to the Lord. And you remember what we said? Uh, amen. That God, uh, uh, listen, Pharaoh sent and said, Jacob, uh, uh, come to me. Uh, amen. That God, where was Pharaoh at? Uh, he was in the city. Uh, he was near the silos. Uh, he was near the place uh, uh, that had the corn today, friend. And that's where all the people came to uh, whenever they gave themselves out of Pharaoh today, friend. But listen, it says, Thou hast saved our lives. They begin to praise Joseph. And I'll tell you what you know how to give. Amen. You, you, you know how to give, how to survive the famine. <laughs> Begin to praise Jesus today, friend. Amen. Begin to magnify his name. Begin to worship him. I'm telling you today, friend, listen. When you begin to worship him today, friend, I'm telling you what, you ain't eating stale Cheetos that you found from the couch today, friend. But I'm telling you today, friend, you're eating holy manna from God on high today, friend. Amen to God. I'm telling you today that they begin uh, to praise Joseph today. But you know what? Uh, later on in Genesis today, friend, uh, amen, uh, 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 Joseph's brothers begin to, the, after Jacob died, Joseph's brothers begin to say, uh, He's going to kill us. He's going to hurt us. He's going to do us bad. But look what he said today. He said, but for you, amen, Satan, uh, he did this for evil today, and you did this for evil. Uh, but God meant it for good. Listen, when they gave J Joseph praise, uh, he turned it back around, and he gave it uh, to the Lord today, friend. I uh, forget no matter the famine. Uh, amen to God when you begin to praise the name of the Lord. Amen to God. I forget you have a famine. You begin to praise the name of the Lord for your family, for your strength, for your health, for your wealth, for everything that you've got today, friend. I'm telling you today, it'll help you. Amen to make it and to survive the famine today, friend. I'm telling you today, listen, I don't need praise. I don't need I lift it up today, friend. But I'm telling you what, there's one up in heaven that's worthy to be praised. He bet, listen, he brought me through my troubles. He brought me through my trials. He brought me through what I've been through in this life today, friend. And those times that I've been dry and thirsty, he brought me through them too today, friend. Those times that have been cold and indifferent upon the Lord, he he brought me through those. I'm telling you today, listen, I tell you today, I, I won't say this. I'm thankful. I feel closer to the Lord today, amen, than what I have in a long time today, friend. Listen, I'm trying to walk with him, trying to talk with him, trying to submit myself to him today, trying to give myself to him today, friend. Amen, trying to draw near to him today, friend. He said, if we do that, he'd draw nigh to us today. Listen, verse number 26 says this. And Joseph made it a law over the land of Egypt unto this day that Pharaoh should have the fifth part except the land of the priest only, which became not Pharaoh's today. So down at the end of the famine, you know what he did? He prepared for the next famine. He didn't see, and God didn't show him that there was going to be another one today, friend. Do you know what? Listen, sometimes things come upon you and you just don't know about it today, friend. But I'll tell you what Joseph was saying. We're going to stay prepared. Joseph was saying, we're going to stay prayed up. We're going to stay studied up. We're going to stay close. We're going to bring in that grain. We're going to bring in that food. We're going to store it all up. 
They didn't have no meteorologists back then with a 10-day forecast today. Listen, they didn't have no farmer's almanac telling you that next year, amen, on February the 8th, it's going to snow and, and all like that today, friend. But I'm telling you today, friend, listen, he stayed prepared. He stayed ready today, friend. Amen to God. I'm telling you today, listen, you stay close. Because you never know. Listen, you know what? When when death comes in a family, it disrupts everything today, friend. When sickness comes in a family, it disrupts everything today, friend. You know what? Last year, COVID. Amen. It disrupted everything today, friend. I'm, I Notice, notice. These people still yet ain't got back in their routine of going to church and things like that today, friend. Just disrupted it today, friend. Amen. Got people out of church. Got people cold and indifferent on the Lord and all like that. And I'll tell you what, that's what Satan meant for it to do. Amen to God. But I'm telling you today, listen. Joseph said he made it a law. We're going to take 20% and we're going to store it up for the next one. I, I tell you, I, 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 they didn't stay in Egypt. Well, they did they, for uh, probably close to 500 more years after this today, friend. But I don't read where they ever had another famine today, friend, and all like that. But I'll tell you what, if they had one, they were ready for it today, friend. If they had one, they had bread uh, for it today, friend. But then you look down, verse 27 says, And Israel dwelt in the land of Egypt, in the country of Goshen, and they had possessions therein, and grew and multiplied exceedingly. And this is how we know where famine lived, uh, ends. And Jacob lived in the land of Egypt seventeen years. So the whole age of Jacob was a hundred and forty and seven years today, friend. And so, listen. Right in through there is where, where the famine ended today, friend. But I'll tell you what, they 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 had it in their books, they had it in their laws. We're going to stay ready for the next one today, friend. And I'm telling you today, listen, you never know what's going to be around the curve. But I'll tell you what, it always pays to stay close to God. It always pays to stay Listen, over there in Psalms 91, he says this. He says, but he that dwelt in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty today, friend. Listen, the Bible says over there in Isaiah 40 and 31, he says, but they that wait upon the Lord, they'll renew their strength. They'll mount up with wings as eagles. They'll run and not grow weary. They'll walk and not faint today, friend. It pays to stay close to the Lord because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And you don't know uh, what's going to happen the next day today, friend. But I'm telling you today, listen. Something about it. Staying close to the Lord when, when adversity comes. It'll help you stay calm today, friend. Something about staying close to the Lord. Amen. When, uh, when, when, when trouble comes. It'll help you. Uh, listen, staying close to the Lord will help you stay grounded today, friend. I tell you, you know, I, this past Thursday marked, I guess, about four years since my daddy died. And I tell you what, I've still yet not shed a tear over that. Do you know why? Because I tell you what, the weeks following that, God had prepared me for that today, friend. I knew it was going to happen. And all like that today, friend. And, and I know that sounds cold of me and all like that, but I tell you what. The Lord had prepared me for that. I, oh, how did he do that? I'll tell you what, I, I went for the longest time. Amen. Uh, while he was in the hospital thinking, is he saved? And all like that today, Fred. And you could, I, I got going up the road, and I got a little bit past where you turn off to go to Lester and Josephine. And I was, we went, I was fixing to go around that big curve, amen, and that, that, that crosses the Edwine Bridgeport Bridge. I was going right around through that, and it's like the Lord just spoke to me, and he said this. He's had his chances. 
He's heard the gospel. Amen. And I've not done him wrong today, friend. And I'll tell you what, that prepared me for that today, friend. Amen. To God. Listen, uh, people, uh, when people die and all like that, people get mad at God and all like that today, friend. But I'll tell you what, uh, listen, uh, God didn't do my daddy wrong today, friend. But I'm telling you today, listen, I, I don't have the testimony. Uh, he never told me that he was right with God and all like that today, friend. But I'm telling you today, friend, uh, uh, God, uh, listen, he said this. He said that the grace of God that brings us salvation uh, has appeared unto all men today, friend. So listen, stay close to the Lord today, friend, and he'll help you get through those hard times. He'll get you through those bad times today, friend. But listen, stay close to him. Stay close to him. Amen to God. I, I tell you, amen it. You'll like it there. You'll like it there today, friend. Being close, listen. I, I, that, that's just my testimony. I tell you, I, I try my best to stay prayed up. Try my best to stay studied up. Try my best to stay close. I've <laughs> I've had people at work, and 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 it seemed like uh, it's just a bad day, and they're like, "Don't, don't you ever get mad." And I'll tell you today, friend, had, had, had times that I should have went crazy today, friend. But I'll tell you what, staying rooted and grounded in the Lord helps me stay calm. And all like that today, friend. I'm telling you today, listen, are you close to him tonight? Are you where you need to be with him tonight? Amen. Are you in the family? Listen, get close to him. He'll help you through the family today. I hope I've helped somebody today, friend. I, I, I hope that you, uh, it's not just a deer in the headlights look that you give me tonight, friend, but I, I hope that, uh, that, that uh, this will help you through the week today, friend. I hope that when you've got something in your life that comes up, hey, this will be a whole lot better if I get in touch with God. <laughs> this will get a whole lot better. This will be a whole lot easier to bear. If I get where I need to be with the Lord, if I get prayed up, if I go talk to the Lord about it, and all like that, and I tell you, I'm thankful for that. I love you tonight. I wonder if anybody's got anything to say or do tonight.